Hi everybody, Aaron Anto here, and today we're going to be talking about the ergonomics of the FS100. So what I got here is the camera with the uh, handle attached. I also have the microphone and hot shoe mount here. So first thing I'm going to do is attach this camera like so. All right. Attach the XLR. And so in this configuration, pretty much you're ready for just a run and gun shoot. Um, got your microphone, you have, uh, you can focus on the LCD screen in front of you like this. And you can have your left hand on the focus or zoom rings if you have them on your lens. So while shooting like this is okay for just run and gun, you know, this is really your basic kind of setup. Uh, for me, like I don't like to hold the camera out in front of me for that long. Uh, my arm gets tired and um, so what I like to do is actually rest the rear of the camera on my shoulder but then that means that I cannot focus on the LCD screen so I need to add a external monitor to it. So what I got here is the small HD DP4 and a monitor extension uh, arm which I will attach, the, attach to the camera next. All right, so I'll configure that in front of the camera so I can focus on that. All right. And there we go. So I can now rest the back of the camera on my shoulder and I can focus on my subject in front of me. So let's take this one step further and let's add a shoulder rest to the camera. Now to do this, you're gonna to have to add a 15 millimeter rail system to it. And in this case, I have it attached using the brand new Berkey system FS100 mounting plate. Another advantage of using a rail system is that it allows you to use a follow focus for your lens and also a map box. So I'm going to attach the shoulder rest to the camera, like so. All right, so we have the shoulder mount for added stability. We have the LCD screen so I can focus. And if you don't have a follow focus attached, you can just put your thumb around one of the rails and uh, that will give you a little bit more extra stability as well. So as you can see, there's many different configurations that you can use to configure the camera for handheld use. Next time, I'll show you how to configure the camera for a tripod and dolly work.